Hi friends, welcome back to Faith and Arrow Homestead. Today I'm going to teach you how to pop your own popcorn at home on your stovetop. You do not want to buy that store-bought stuff. Not only is it full of seed oils, but the microwavable popcorn bags are lined with a toxin from the PUFA family and it's been linked to infertility in women as well as kidney, uh, bladder, pancreatic, and testicular cancer. And we want none of that. No thank you. <laughs> Pass. So I purchased an organic yellow popcorn from Azure Standard. My local grocery store does also have an organic popcorn. It just I like getting it from Azure. But you should be able to find it at your grocery store if you don't have access to Azure. It is so easy to pop it on your stovetop. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I will teach you how to turn it into a caramel corn. So all you need is a pot. I'm going to use my stainless steel pot. Normally I use my cast iron Dutch oven, but it is still out of commission until I get it fixed. So we're using this baby today. This is really easy. Turn your stove on to, I start with medium and then give that a few minutes to heat up. Now you are going to need some sort of fat for this. I use a combination of olive oil and butter. You can use all of one, all of the other. I know people, I know some people use um, avocado oil. Um, you could use coconut oil. Coconut oil would probably be a good choice if you were going to turn it into a sweet popcorn, like if you were gonna do a caramel corn. Um, I like to start with olive oil and finish with butter. So once your pot has started to heat up, put just a drop of olive oil um, maybe a teaspoon, not much. And then once your pot is nice and hot and you've got your little bit of oil in there, you're going to add three popcorn kernels, just three. And I like to make sure that they really get in that oil, coated in that oil. And then we're going to wait for those to pop. One of them, two of them, three of them. So did you see how fast that happened? This is hotter than we need it to be. So I'm actually going to turn this down to medium low. doesn't need to be as hot as it is. We're going to go ahead and add the rest of our fat. I'm going to add about a fourth a cup of butter. And it is at this point that I like to add my salt. I'm going to add in probably about a tablespoon, um, but you can adjust that to your taste. I like my popcorn salty, but I have made my popcorn too salty before, so be careful. And then once my butter is totally melted, we can go ahead and add the rest of our kernels, but have your lid ready right there. And throw your lid on there. I like to, as soon as I put the kernels in, I like to give it a little shake. because I want those kernels um, really well coated in the butter and the salt. And now we're just waiting to hear that first pop. Here, you're gonna have to adjust the heat for your stove. Everybody's stove is somewhat different. Um, I had it on medium, I turned it down to medium low. If we go a while here without hearing any popping, you can turn it up a little. If it starts popping like crazy right off the bat, I would turn it down. Doesn't need to be that hot. And every 20 to 30 seconds, I give this a shake because I do not want this to burn. I'm gonna be honest with you, the very first time you make popcorn, there's a real good chance you're gonna burn it. I have burned popcorn before, but the more you shake it, the less likely it is to burn. So over shake it, you're not gonna hurt anything. There it goes. Perfect. Now I'm serious, shake it every 20 to 30 seconds to keep it from burning. That's really the only thing. I would say that this takes a similar amount of time to sticking a bag of popcorn in the microwave. The difference is you can walk away from that and you cannot walk away from this. You really need to keep up with it. But the popcorn that comes from doing it this way is far superior to the store-bought popcorn and so much healthier for you. I'm gonna turn this down just a little now that we're popping. Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. That looks amazing. So at this point, I turn the heat down to just above low, and I like to scoot it around with a long-handled spoon. Don't burn yourself. And this gives it the opportunity to pop any more kernels that might be hanging out at the bottom. And once you go a second without hearing any popping, it's done. You can turn the heat off. What do you say we taste our creation here and see? Well, first of all, what a beautiful pot of popcorn. That is gorgeous. All right. Oh my gosh. See, and then it becomes dangerous because I could sit here and eat this entire thing. I love popcorn. So much more flavor, so much more real tasting than the crappy imitation store-bought stuff. There are no harmful chemicals in this virtually at all. So it is a snack that you can actually enjoy without having to worry about what you're consuming. It's still a snack, of course. Consume in moderation. Next, we're going to make the caramel to go over the popcorn to make it a caramel corn. Um, I have made this so many times, and to be honest with you, this is like my secret, like, cheat day, my favorite snack. I absolutely love it. Tom does not like popcorn. So as of right now, I'm the only one in this house that eats it, and I am completely okay with that. So we're going to start by melting half a cup of butter or one stick in a saucepan. Now to make this caramel to go over your popcorn, we are going to be boiling this. So you need to be really careful. And especially once we add our sugar, you cannot walk away from this at all. So once our butter is completely melted and it's even a little bubbly here, we're going to go ahead and add in half a cup of brown sugar and immediately start getting that mixed in. This part is very important. You do not walk away. You need to stay right here. Get that nice and mixed in here and we're going to let this come up to a boil and we're going to boil it for two to three minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit because this is not boiling yet, but it doesn't matter if it's whether it's boiling or not. You need to stir this continuously. Okay, now this is boiling, so we're going to let it continue to boil for about two, I'm going to say about two minutes. It's going to get real puffy. The consistency is going to look kind of strange to you. Just keep going. Don't stop. Keep stirring. All right, it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. Now we are going to go ahead and add roughly a teaspoon of vanilla. And when you put this in here, it's gonna bubble like crazy. That's okay. Get that nice and mixed in there. Next, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna leave this up to you. I like, when I'm making the, the caramel corn, I like it to be salty because I think it balances out the sweet. Um, but we did also salt our popcorn. So if I were you, I would taste my popcorn to see how salty it is. Because if you accidentally oversalted your popcorn, then you can kind of compensate for that by not adding salt to the caramel and vice versa. So kind of up to you. And then the last ingredient, we're also going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Get that nice and mixed in here. And that's really fun. It changes the consistency of your caramel and makes it really puffy and almost marshmallow-like. It's really fun. That looks great. And now we can pour it right over our popcorn. I just keep stirring it around until I get it at least somewhat coated. I'm not real picky, especially because I'm usually the only one eating this. So I'm really not very picky. I just do the best I can to get it nice and coated in that caramel. I want you guys to know how much joy it brings me to share recipes with you guys because making your own food is just such a delight. I absolutely love it. And I love that you can just have whatever you want whenever you want it when you know how to make things. So let's try, I mean, I already know it's amazing. I eat this stuff all the time. So here we've got some caramel corn. Look how good. 
Ah, uh, so good, and it's warm. Mm. I could just stuff my face with this. I will be stuffing my face with this all day today. If you wanted to, you could pop this in the oven. Um, 300 degrees for like 15, 20 minutes, keep an eye on it. And it will end up giving you a caramel corn that is more like what you'd get at the fair, really crispy at room temperature, because this right now, with it being warm and kind of wet is not crispy. I like it both ways. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I very rarely ever take the time to bake it because I'm the only one eating it and I just eat it right. I just keep it in this pot and I just carry this pot around the house with me. I'm not kidding. Um, so you could bake it if you wanted to. I probably would if I was taking it somewhere. Like if I made a double batch and I was bringing this to a party, I would bake it because it would just be really good. But it's delicious like this. And um, I'm not sure that we can call this healthy, <laughs> but it is lacking all of those preservatives and toxins that come in the store-bought version. Even the store-bought version of caramel corn, because I used to buy like, I'm blanking on like what any of the brands would be called, but I know you can buy caramel corn from the store, bags of it, I used to all the time, full of seed oils, full of corn syrup, full of just junk, unnecessary stuff. And the quality here, the flavor far surpasses. Um, this is so fresh. Whereas I feel like caramel corn that you get from the store is very stale. Um, and if you were just to make this as popcorn and not have it be caramel corn, if you use real butter, instead of that imitation buttery flavor that you get from the popped popcorn in the bags, this is just far, far superior. Um, so I just wanted to come to you with this today, you guys, because it is just, it's such a fun skill. It takes no time at all. So easy to whip up. I would say that the only difference is that you have to watch the popcorn on the stove and like shake it versus being able to walk away from the bag. But the convenience that you get from the microwavable popcorn bags comes with a very harmful toxin um, that you just don't want to be consuming. So I'll shake my pot four or five times if it means I can have really fresh um, popcorn lacking all of those nasty ingredients. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we made popcorn and then turned it into caramel corn. I hope that you'll give this a try. I absolutely love coming to you guys with these recipes. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have faith my friends and keep moving forward. Bye.